Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to the first press conference of 2021 and uh, Shorty's a little bit under the weather as you might be able to tell with my voice, just uh, need to get a bit of a decent sleep in but uh, look I thought I'd um, get the presser done even though it is late, um, it's something I've sort of made a bit of a goal is to get them done on the Sunday, I'm working a job that allows for a bit of a later night on a Sunday, I remember more lately um, or more recently probably 6am get ups were, were pretty frequent so didn't really um, suit uh, doing a late press conference I've just been over to the folks for a little Sunday dinner which is a bit of a thing we do more often than not so yeah I will be trying to get them done even if it is late I will be looking to get it done and I will be going live tomorrow as well in fact there'll be two of us I'll have my mate Langers on board as well so 7.30, 7.30 Monday night, um, so yep, Shorty Supercoach is up against AFL 360, we'll see who wins the ratings battle there, but nonetheless, hopefully you can fire a few questions, and it does seem like carnage off the top, you know, clearly Dangerfield and Rao are the two that, there will be a lot of sides that have them both, <coughs> excuse me, so there will be quite a bit to think about now. I haven't looked at my side all week, all weekend, I should say. In fact, it didn't, it wasn't the best round one for Shorty in terms of just footy because I actually worked all four days. So I haven't watched a game in full, which is really disappointing. So I can't wait for Thursday and Friday um, just to watch some games in full. But that's the way it rolls sometimes. So I've got no idea. My gut feel is that I didn't have a good week, but let's let's see how we go. Um, and yeah, my gut feel would be spot on because <laughs> that is pretty bloody shit. So there you go. What are we? Yeah, 57,000. So we can probably just jog on right by that because that's trash. Um, but yeah, I, I've got an absolute hoodoo. My round ones are just absolute shit more often than not. So obviously, you know, Zach Williams, he'll, he'll come in, whatever. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's have a look at what sort of went wrong and it looks as if not too much went wrong in the back line I presume it's probably midfield and forward yeah Dugowie shithouse um what uh yeah very fucking hell look at that Goulden on the bench Flynn on the bench which was always going to be the case and Rowe on the bench I mean that's and Bergman that's just bullshit really see you're getting a little bit of live shorty feedback here um, I'll deal with that later. But yeah, if there's one thing that really pisses me off with Supercoach Classic, it is the rookie roulette at the start of the season. You know, you can you can have 10,000 better ranking points just on absolute pure luck. And Lockie Neal went pretty trash too, by the looks of things. So um, yeah, so all in all, a pretty shitful week, really. Not much to get excited about. So, yeah, it's kind of ironic how much time you put into it over the pre-season and then, um, yeah, kind of kind of just throw the towel in after Thursday night. <laughs> it's it's weird. Like, you pick your side and everything, and then I I deliberately don't look at the scores because I know, like, I'm you're not an idiot. Like, you know Dugowie's not playing that well. You know Dow hasn't gone that well. So if I know they're not going too great, I'm not interested at all in knowing how bad they're going but um when i was younger i used to check the scores quarterly you know you'd have it going live you'd, you'd be right in every bump and that just does my absolute head in so i try to check them as little as possible um and try to just watch footy for for footy basically so yeah we'll um we'll talk plenty in the um <clears throat> if i can get over this minor cold and actually talk to you we'll talk plenty of um danger field trade issues and rowel issues and that type of thing danger might get two he might get three i'm not really sure but i think either way he's gonna have to leave our side so yeah it's tricky definitely tricky so and there's a hell of a lot of work to do with this side because that's a pretty trash performance but if you play Golden in front of Barry and you play Rowe in front of Bergman, you know, I'm probably ranked in, you know, way higher than this. But that's all right. You don't pick a side and then make crazy trades off one week. We'll just we'll just work and um, give them another week. You know, I think I'll trade Danger just, you know, because that's probably 
what we'll be forced to do after the tribunal, but I doubt I'll be making any other trades. Um, I always like to give them two weeks. You don't study and research and think for eight weeks to make a decision off 120 minutes of footy. So if there is a positive, it's um, you know a lot of, of really good um, rookie scores in there. Brockman's clearly the one that was, was poor. Um, so yeah, otherwise we'll just, yeah, we'll see how they go. And like I said, tune into the live session, 7.30, and we'll be able to really smash it out. So I hope you had a good weekend. Hope you had a good Supercoach week as well. And I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.